YouTube, YouTube, what's good? Tsunami, come here. Like I was saying, it's your boy, 247, one half, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. I'm back with another one, baby. This is going to be a quick video. Hope everybody doing good. If you got litters on the ground, congratulations. Uh, make sure you take care of your damn dogs. And like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Exotic Frenchie Boutique across all platforms. All right, let's get into it. So, so today we got a package. I, I hope this is what I've been, what I'm waiting on. I ordered some shit from Brucey yesterday. You see me and Tsunami around here chilling. Bruce over there. When I, I be bringing the puppies down here, let the puppies get in here. I might get some footage of that. Bruce over there eating. Actually, this video is about Bruce. But hold up though, because I ain't show y'all the new embroidery on the exotic French boutique joints. You know what I'm saying? You know we coming on them clean. But anyway, back to the video. Hey, Bruce, come here, boy. So I think Bruce got like a yeast infection or some shit going on. I really just noticed it like three or four days ago. Um, and I was like, because he always be scratching his ear like crazy. But um, he got an appointment. I'm gonna, he gonna go to the vet. Um, um actually monday the pups going for their their six week their six week uh wellness checkup so we're gonna bring bruce in to get checked up but in the meantime i saw some shit on facebook while i was on facebook um let me open this up and then i'm gonna show y'all bruce air and because it's stinky so i they say when there's an air infection it's gonna be real smelly i mean not an air infection a yeast infection i don't know what the underlying issue is hopefully this cream gonna solve it but if the cream don't solve it then when we go to the vet i'm sure they're gonna give us something that's going to do it. But this might be it. But um, so, yeah, so the yeast infection in their ears, I guess it just makes them scratch it. Like he like he's doing right now. And it stink like shit. It smell like cheese and mustard and like like all types of weird shit mixed together. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, we about to try to bring me the out. Come here, Bruce. All right. So this is the cream is Clotrimazole. I'm, I hope I'm saying that shit right. For trimmers all. Anyway, I saw this on like Facebook, then I did some other um, research on YouTube, and this is supposed to be it. So that like, we gonna we gonna administer this to his ear, and hopefully this shit gets better. I'm gonna do another video and let y'all know if it gets any better by Monday before we go to the vet. And um, tsunami's down there itching a stinking ass booty. Oh, and by the way, this pack is like what? Five of them. This shit was only like six dollars on Amazon, so I'll probably have these forever, for real, for real. But yeah, Amazon, Clotrimazole cream, whatever that shit said. Yeah. All right. So you see his ear right there. We be hold on, hold on, hold on. You you see it right? We be scratching that and shit. So this is about to be hard to record. Hold on. All right. So the video. I just I already cleaned his ears out. Um, pick this shit up. I already cleaned his ears out. So the video said just really to use like a pea size uh, amount. So let me, I'm gonna see if I can get this into his ear and record it so y'all can see what's going on. Bro, stop, bro, this ain't nothing to eat. All right, so I'm not sure if we on it. If you can see, hopefully you can see, stop, bro. So basically, you just wanna like, right in the deck. Bro, come here, bro. All right, now I'm imagining y'all can see, but basically you just want to get a pea size, right? And you kind of just, Bruce, stop. He fluffy as hell, so you just want to put it in there and then just squeeze it around in there. Not too hard, but just squeeze it around in there. Give him some relief. You'll hear it smushing around like macaroni. And then just let that go in there. Hold on, bro. Hold on. All right. So you see it, right? And then I'm going to wipe off the excess. Actually, let's do that now. Oh, his ear still closed. All right. So I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. All right, so we just put it in the other air, which is worse. But as you can see, and I don't want to leave it in there clumped up. Tsunami. Tsunami. Go lay down. Because you don't be listening. Go. Get your ass on. All right. Yeah, y'all see how bad this shit is? He be scratching the hell out of it. 
So hopefully this going to do it till Monday, but yeah. All right, so we got some cream in his ear. Hold on. My bad, buddy. But yeah, I probably should have caught this sooner, but I really wasn't paying attention. I just thought he was scratching. And then one day I was like, man, let me, let me, let me, I think my girl actually did it. She just looked in his ear and was like, boy, what the fuck? It was the smell actually, but yeah. So, all right, that's it, bro. You done. And then as always, make sure you wipe off and clean off. I really should have probably used a Q-tip, but yeah, always make sure you clean off all that extra shit. You don't want to be transferring and spreading different bacterias and shit. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go feed the pups now. Let's get it. All right, and so for my research, the yeast infection in the air comes from just being humid or having too much water. So probably what happened is, being that he's a fluffy, um, he overheats and then the moisture in his air just shit of creates yeast. And it's really probably from when we just let him get in the shower and do what he do. So we would be more mindful about when we put him in the shower, letting too much water get in his ears, so forth and so on. Because that's probably really what caused it. Hopefully that is what the, the underlying issue is. Um, so, yeah, so humid air. Just make sure you, you dry them off really well after they take showers. Don't let too much water get in their ears. And, yeah, that, that should really solve that. But, yeah, let's get into it. Um, oh, side note, because I got these in the mail which is just the AKC uh, welcome packages. Puppy Resources just has day one of your puppy, puppy vaccination schedule. Um, just some other pamphlets and insurance information. And um, yeah, just, just a bunch of info on caring for your new pup, how to register your pup, so forth and so on. So each one of these will come with each puppy along with the AKC certificate or uh, registration, which you have to fill that out and get your own uh, certificates and so forth and so on. Um, and then it's also going to come with the carrying pouch, which I don't have yet, but when I get those, I'm going to show them it's going to be a carrying pouch. Basically, the TSA uh, approved travel carrier, which you take your dogs on the airplane with, is going to be one of those with our logo embroidered on the side. Um, and I'll, I'm going to actually do a video of the whole care package when I get it together. So yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. But yeah, let's get back to the pups. All right, so we're doing a quick feed in. Her ears are up, his ears are up, and her ears are up. Lizzo has half of one ear up and the other one just ain't ain't working on shit. But yeah though, so we doing a quick feed in. I'm probably gonna expand that back out today and get a more play space. And um, cause they actually been doing good on the on the on the pine pellet box. You know what I'm saying? They get it messy and shit with the little pellets they play with. But other than that, they don't poop. They don't pee on it. So they're doing good with that. So we're going to expand that out. And um, yeah, man. Here's the pups. And this this mix right here is just puppy food um, and goat's milk. And I don't think I put any of the baby food in there because I noticed the... So I got three of the, ba the baby food formulas. I don't know if y'all seen this, like baby oatmeal in my last videos. Um, they only like one of them. So they don't like the original flavor and they don't like the um, the pumpkin. There's a pumpkin and some other shit. They don't like that. So I'm actually not going to get that anymore. I noticed when I just used uh, a little... Actually, it's Dine in there too, my bad, y'all. So I noticed when I just used Dine, a little bit of Dine, puppy kibble, um, goat's milk, blend that up. Um, they, they like that way much more than the other two, it, but there is one of the bait I'm, I'm rambling, but there is one of the, the baby oatmeal that they do like. I just can't banana, the banana one. They like the banana one, but the, yeah, the sweet potato and the, uh, uh, the original, they don't like that. So I would actually get the banana one again, but I'm probably not even wasting my money on that. If they eating this shit, just fine. But I am going to find some some new shit to implement into their um I actually wanted to try I seen a video where they were doing red meat and water and just grinding that up and letting them get that cuz um we do feed our other dogs ground beef and cooked meat and all that shit so if they eat that it would be pretty I'm, I'm sure they do but yeah it would be pretty cool to, to try that and get them on that and see how they do with the with the raw meat mush versus the kibble mush you know what I'm saying so yeah they all here just chilling 
they really want to get hop about this box so i just really let them do what they do then i'll probably put them back on it and you know what i'm saying i don't know if they forget what they be having going on in their mind they should probably run a thousand miles for half a second look at lizzo i need to get better lighting in here y'all so y'all can really see him rick rick always high drunk whatever but he got a fire body i always tell y'all that rick's chest he's fire fat feet straight feet I mean, let me let me get them back on it. And this is just a mix of goat's milk, a little bit of dine, and some water. Not tap water either. And then when they get done with the mush, I kind of just let them drink up. Um, I be trying to put water down and shit, but they don't really drink the water too much. But they tear this goat's milk shit up. But I do put water down for them. But um, they don't really, they don't do too, they don't do, they play around and shit in the water. But they love the goat's milk. Let me get down on their level for y'all. Yeah, I need a better light in this joint. Ricky. Liz. My girl call her Wednesday, I call her Taco. So she could be like Taco Wednesday. Let me get this light over here. She could be like Taco Wednesday. She ain't even got none. She cry baby, bro. All she do is cry and whine and shit. Cry and fucking whine all night, all day. That's my girl right there though. She ain't used to like me. We cool as hell now, though. And Rick, Rick fuck with me hard. Lizzo, she don't really do too much with me. Need to do her. She just cried all goddamn day. Their personality is wild. They're all different, obviously. But yeah, all right, so let me go ahead and get this joint expanded out, man. Let's get into it. So it's not even as wide as I thought it was. So I get to fold some of this, I'm gonna fold some of this tarp underneath and then figure this out. And yeah, I'll be back with y'all. Let me get this shit set. But basically I'm gonna extend it. So they got, it got way more parts to it, but I'm only gonna put on two extra pieces just to make it another, probably what is this? Three feet, three or four feet lengths long. But it comes out shit, three more feet long, four more feet long, and then four more feet this way. But I'm not even about to do that to myself. And, and yeah, so we just gonna go this way, right? We gonna go this way right now. Uh, I'm gonna just get it together though before I even, um, before I even fold the tarp back. But y'all remember my other videos, I showed y'all how to put this shit together. This is basically is a straightener. When you wanna change this to, to end right here, then you put this corner piece on. But right now we need this cause we need to extend it uh, going long way. So you just basically, let me see if I can do this with one hand. We just basically, bang, snap that hole down in there. And then this top part gonna go on here once you, I get the other piece in there. But yeah, hold on. And that's the other panel, as you see. And then same thing like so. Well, I can't get it in the hole. <laughs> hold on, all right, here we go. Bang, snap that hole down. Then take this top piece and bang. And this joint's actually pretty sturdy and holds up. I'm surprised the netting. I mean, I clean the nets every day, though, but it shit's holding up. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the other side and the back part in. And then, so like I was saying, where well, we going to cap it off at, now we will use the corner piece like so. This time I'm better, though. It's like when you about to get it in, but it's... Uh, <laughs> you know, the, it wasn't have enough lube on it but now it's in bam all right so let me get my other side in all right it's always easier the second time you get it in 
And then, bam, I got my clips. Whoosh. Hold up, let me straighten that. Bam, get my other one on there. All right, now I gotta fix the pad. Cause it's too long, it's not enough pad this way. I should really, nah, I'm gonna keep the tarp in there. I ain't even about to do that. Hold on, y'all. I was gonna take the tarp out, but that might actually be a bad idea. So I really need to take the tarp out and flip it long ways so I have enough lengthwise. Cause now this shit's probably like seven feet long, seven and a half feet. All right, so we got it. We got it all set up now. Um, they expanded. They got like four more feet. They got to add on to their home. They just got a renovation done by me for free. You know what I'm saying? They should thank me, but instead they sleeping right now. She up being bad. She going to be the one. As soon as I walk out the room, put them in there, walk out the room, she going to be the one whining, picking on somebody. But yeah, they all knocked out. Um, little girl right there. That's Taco. Taco Wednesday. She need a name. She ain't got no name. Cry baby. But um, yeah, so man, you already know the vibe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. One love to everybody. Exotic Frenchie Boutique across all platforms. All the pups are available. If you're interested, hit me up. 540-243-6069. Or hit me on Instagram, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. And yeah, I'll get to you. But other than that, man, hey, one love to everybody. Peace till next time. One.